Sarah here from the Army Girls Guide. This is step two of my six steps to the perfect press up. So if you haven't already done the first step, then you can go back and watch that. And in that, we are just um, warming up our wrists and setting our hands in the correct position. In step two, it's all about the core. So you might see a lot of people doing their press ups with a really saggy back. Now this is because they're not engaging the core and this is not good, it doesn't count as a press up. So we want to have a nice strong core. We're also going to encourage a posterior pelvic tilt. So as opposed to this arching, this anterior tilt where the pelvis is tilted forwards, we are tucking under squeezing the glutes and this is all part of how we use the whole body in the press up by actively engaging so we're working on that posterior pelvic tilt and the way we're going to do this is by uh, core exercises so the first exercise that we're going to do is a plank position with that posterior pelvic tilt so you're going to come down onto your elbows elbows directly underneath your shoulders have your hands forward in 11 o'clock position with your palms to the floor you're going to extend your legs and then tuck under that pelvis, squeeze, and we're holding here for 30 seconds. So I am actively squeezing my glutes. I'm curling that pelvis under, and this kind of rounds out the lower back, the lumbar spine, and protects that back from any arch or any hip dip that you might have. So we want to really work on strengthening this position We've got eight more seconds to go. If you're shaking, that's good. Draw your belly button into your spine for three, two, one, and you can relax. Okay, we're now gonna come onto our back and do a similar move, but upside down. So we're gonna be holding our hollow position. So you want to draw the core down, tuck the pelvis under. So as if you're trying to bring your ribs and your hips closer together, squeeze the abs. We're going to lift our arms and our head at the same time, leaving a space between our chin and our chest, about a fist width, so that we're not pulling the chin into the chest. So, inhale to prepare, exhale, lift up, and hold it here. So you're drawing the stomach down, there should be no arch in the back. Extend your arms, point your toes, squeeze your legs together, Squeeze your glutes, make sure you've still got that gap between your chin and your chest, and breathe, don't hold your breath, hold it there. If you feel your back start to arch, then you can release down, and then come back into that hold when you can. We have got five seconds left. Squeeze, 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 and you can. Relax. Okay, so I want you to do the plank and the hollow hold a couple of times just to make sure that you're really strong in that core because when we go into the press up, that's the nice strong position that we're going to have. So I look forward to seeing you on step three of my six steps to the perfect press up.